Hey, uh, 6.36 <laughs> inches of rain we've had month to date. Our average is only an inch 0.76. So that is a very big difference. Four and a half inches in difference there. Season to date, 26 inches is usually where we're at. Uh, or I'm sorry, usually we're at 12 and a half inches, but we've had 26 inches of rain. That's more than double. Uh, last season to date was 10 inches, and our average seasonal rainfall there is 14, almost 15 inches. This is the headline. North winds, 55 miles an hour potentially. That's very, very, very strong winds there in the northern part of the viewing area. Uh, the wind chills are going to be very cold. Tonight we're going to see snow uh, really keeping it around 3,000 feet. So I say below, but it's really 3,000 feet and above. Three inches there. Icy conditions on the five, uh, especially up there through parts of the grapevine. So you're going to be watching for uh, just dangerous driving uh, conditions. So be very careful around that. We have possible down trees. We will have possible power outages and power lines also coming down with all that wind. However, we'll have a pretty calm weekend uh, rain wise, uh, but a possible storm will be rolling in next week, potentially Monday or Tuesday. But these are those winds that we were talking about current winds 23 mile an hour sustained winds in Camarillo 25 in Oxnard behind me over here you can't see it on screen 21 miles an hour in Santa Barbara 20 down in Avalon look at all this red right this is basically very very strong sustained winds 22 up in uh, Antelope Valley in Lancaster Edwards Air Force Base 33 miles an hour in Mojave. So it's uh, going to get windier. It's going to feel very cold. Obviously that wind chill does make it feel a lot colder as well. As we look outside right now, there are current temperatures 57 in Santa Monica, 58 in Oxnard, 59 in Van Nuys and 56 in Riverside. As we look towards that storm system coming in, the models right now predicting that we could have potentially an inch and a half of rain for the metro area and up to two and a half inches of rain for the higher elevation areas as well. Right now, picking up a little bit of precipitation to the north of us, Santa Clarita, Fraser Park, seeing some of that to the south of the basin. You also see this a little bit towards the east as well in Riverside County uh, and then also to the south, like I said, towards Orange County overnight lows. Look at this 35 in Apple Valley, 50 or 42 in Chino, Orange County beaches, 40s, mid 40s, high 40s here in the uh, basin area. And as we look towards the north, 43 in Santa Clarita and then 31 in Sandburg, 37 in Lake Isabella overnight going to be very, very chilly for you there. Let's look at the seven day forecast ahead for you for Los Angeles. You can see a high tomorrow of 65 overnight lows in the 40s. Saturday brings us a high of 66. Same for Sunday, Monday, the warmest of next week at 61. That storm system comes in on Tuesday and brings us some lower temperatures. Look at that 57. So 10 degree drop from Monday to Wednesday with uh, some showers overnight lows in the high 40s and that similarly uh, will be the same story for the San Fernando Valley um, pretty much mid 60s almost 70 degrees there by Monday then rain on Tuesday into Thursday so that'll do it for me I'm sending it back to you guys